so Marina Sirtis blocked me on Twitter earlier. Even though I didn't really insult her at all. I, I mean, I was um, a, a, a fan of hers, kind of. And I was very complimentary towards her. Because I thought she was very funny at um, at conventions with the way she talks and cracks jokes and is um, is very down to earth and um, and charismatic. But um, she blocked me probably because I was saying a lot to her and saying it. Uh, posting a lot of messages to her because um, because I had a lot to say because I'm a very wordy person but um, it kind of um, hurt my feelings and so that means I'm, I'm not going to pull any punches uh, with how I deal with her from now on I see it as a fact that she's a kind of pretender in regards to in regards to wit and comedy. I mean um I mean you'd think she would identify with me in a sense because of how um I've had something of a funny side myself, and um, I've been known as a witty giant on forums, and so, plus uh, I had um, a huge interest in Star Trek in the past before my religious OCD kind of started getting in the way, and various things on Star Trek would make me kind of anxious, like the... Um, like the atheist characters echoing the atheist set sentiments of Gene Roddenberry all the time, and um, and then of course to uh, kind of the the words uh, certain words said in vain, which made me a bit anxious as well, and started making me hate some of the characters well not the well yeah the characters as well but also the actors I mean at times I've um I've wanted to insult the actors of, of, on various Star Trek series in the, in these videos and um also in text based messages but um I I had mercy because um, I suppose that's always been one of my faults in life that I'm just too nice and too forgiving maybe I'm too naive sort of I mean at high school when um, when the kids would, uh, would would be bullying me and did just constantly be attacking me until they kind of broke me down and made me cry yeah, they made me cry, and so um, and so then they'd kind of start succumbing into guilt a bit and be apologetic, but and and because um, because I was always nervous and um, fearful at school, I just I just want it all to end, and so I'd forgive them and. Um, I'd be hoping everything would get better after that, but it never did because um, after I accepted the apologies, it wouldn't be long, maybe a day or so later before it would all start up again. Oh well, yeah, I digress. I mean, this is about Marina Sirtis and... Um, and how she heartlessly blocked me after I was kind of opening up to her in my uh, messages towards her. I mean, so what if I've got 
quite a bit of resentment towards Star Trek and um, and the people who were behind it, like Gene Roddenberry. I mean, I, I felt depressed. Uh, I felt um, betrayed by them when I really thought about the atheist sentiments of um, which often manifested themselves in the in the series. Um, Because I've always been a well-meaning kind of person who has um, always meant the best in life and always tried to be a good person. And so to find out that a lot of the that the influential backs a lot of the influential backstage personnel in the Star Trek series were atheists and they had great disdain for my beliefs and all the things I hold dear. Well, it kind, it kind of felt like being stabbed in the back by them and so obviously that resentment is going to be there that I feel towards um, Star Trek and the uh, writers and Gene Roddenberry. Well, yeah, I guess what I just wanted to say with this video is that that Marina Sirtis pretends to be down to earth and funny and um, and appreciative of her fans at those conventions and whatnot, but she really isn't. I mean. How else could she just so heartlessly and so quickly and emotionlessly block me on Twitter despite how I was um, saying so many heartfelt um, things to her. It baffles me to be honest but then again no one uh, but then again no one ever said that humanity within my corner in regards to these matters so I guess I'm just destined to flounder in life that's just how the, how the cookie crumbles I guess